We're learning how to be movie stars. <laughs> All right, that's a club. It's a coffee club. <laughs> It's it's a coffee talk. It's 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 a coffee talk. It's 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 a coffee talk. Is that the new I, jingle? Yeah, the jangle from it's the jiggle from Jangle Jason. <laughs> what are, remember those days, the old days of Jangle Jason and Crappy uh, Craig? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why I kind of petered out. I didn't like my nickname very much, Crappy Craig. <laughs> well, well, here we are. Here we another are. Riveting coffee talk. It's another <laughs> exciting Monday or Friday. Monday or Friday. We don't know. I don't know. That's just because we're grinding, right? Yeah. So let's Rod talk Corey, about though. something, Mr. Craig. Truth. Uh, the why. Oh. Uh, why, why, why do we do this crazy thing called insurance? Or even well, business. obviously, there's some. There's obviously some bills that need to get paid. Yeah. But beyond that, we could pick anything, right? Yep. We could. What is your why, Mr. Craig? Am why? I supposed to, I, why? Is it why? the L word? I mean, it, it it can be. Lapel. What's your why? Uh, What's my why? Well, I didn't know I was going to get put on the spot, Mr. Jason. Well, then, well, it's real. It's real. <laughs> my why. Um, my why is to help grow the people that I bring in to to help uh, trade and yeah, that's terrible. I want to start over. <laughs> start over. Okay. I, I know I put you on the spot. Go. go Can again. I start over? Real, Mr. Craig. I haven't thought of anything yet either. I know you're going to throw me in. And I know it's, the... I'm going to make excuses because I'm, because we're eight Shut deep up. or whatever. <laughs> uh, oh. All right. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. No, honestly, it is, it's to help. I mean, every one of the businesses that, that have been created, uh, this one, I mean, I came in not knowing a why. And I think not being very confident in any ability to run anything. And, you know, we've gone through our stories and, and uh, the, the struggles and, and all of that that happened prior to a few years ago when we really dialed it up and, and started to get the results, drink the Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is very gratifying to employ people who are able to take care of their families to get them give them health insurance to give them, you know, all of the benefits and be able to trade them and see them grow and improve. Uh, you know, like the, the, the two newest ones, boy or girl that I have, no, uh, their, their names are Jared and, uh, Marisella, but I like to say boy or girl cause they are so young. It's crazy. But I mean, they came in and they know nothing about insurance, nothing. And now they're right. out there, um, you know, two months later, Riding over 30K. And it's remarkable to be a part of an organization. Had some tech difficulties, so hopefully uh, it is <laughs> uncut. And there, there was not a cut, so this is still real. It was glitching out. Uh, yeah, but to, but to see them and their transformation to see this whole place transform. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't me that did it. I facilitated by putting in the resources, but I mean, the team did it. You know, I just helped guide them. Find the right people. Love it. Who are hopefully smarter than me. <laughs> Cuz they need to be. <laughs> Make this thing run. <laughs> so how about you, Mr. Love Jason? It. What's your why? You can't use that one. No, I know. I I was trying not kidding. to think about it, so yeah. I would be put on the spot, which I uh -huh. I I accidentally did a little bit. So uh. I guess, <laughs> but I don't know what I'm gonna say later. But I do. The beginning is this: is you know, I I did want to build something for my family. I got married, yeah, and went back to school, and then you know, by the end of going to school, I said, hey, if I can't 
find another business that makes more sense than getting into insurance, then I'm just going to do insurance, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> now a lot of people fall, fall back into, <laughs> well, it, it's just not, yeah, there's so many things that are sexier. You know, you yeah. open a restaurant, even though that that's the most volatile business on the planet, the it sounds sexier, you know what yeah. I mean? Or there's just other things that just sound better, but, yeah. um, it just, everybody, you know, and I even had the perception that, um, that, uh, insurance is boring. Like that, bo you know, you have to have what? a boring office. It's exciting. Yeah, it is exciting, but you don't have to have a boring office. I guess, right. you know, you are, Oh no, the can... office it definitely can be fun. Yeah. So with that being said, yeah. So. So I got into it doing that and then uh, started it right after school. And then I guess so the, the why was to really just build something that was pay the bills that I could grow, that I could be my own boss and have be the fate of my own destiny kind of deal. Oh. But then it just does change after over time. And I actually thought about this a while ago because it's like, I, I just want to keep like I've definitely surpassed where I thought I would be. You know what I mean? And I've, so I've, I've definitely surpassed that. And, and now that's not even anywhere enough, right? Right. You, your goal, you keep going higher and higher, at least for me. And I really like building and it is that it is that L word. It's the legacy kind of thing. Yeah. But it's like, but I really like building and helping and helping build and, and creating yeah. this team kind of like you said, create the team, yeah. but I really do like helping and helping lead because, you know, you and I've talked about that. Our backgrounds are very similar with like, you know, drinking and, and whatnot, yeah. um, which we both qu quit doing. And yeah. I always say that that's such a, like I, the alcoholic personality is such a blessing. It's just as what you do you with it. Not drink. Yeah. You, you got to use your, your, the forces for good instead of evil. <laughs> so right. like, I really, I like being involved in something and pushing and getting better and, and having a team of that. We're all trying to get better and, and, um, make a bigger impact. And I don't know, it's like spreading that footprint. And so it's, it yeah. is legacy. It's building a legacy, whether it's in the agency or your family or anything else. Plus you're, you know, your kids see what you're doing and like you're building, elevating, doing things that you didn't think were possible. Yeah. Um, having the people around you do things that they didn't think were possible, which is super cool. And, and so I mean, the that whole, that you help other agents do it and you can't believe that or, or they can't believe it's possible that they do it. And then it's like, wow. Well, right. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And I, and it's like creating that momentum. And I love that momentum feeling. I don't like the non momentum feeling anymore. There's no uh, way old Jason in a robe, jobless at home, playing video about, games, didn't care. What about old Jason in a robe at the store? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I need to bring that back in some sense. Jason needs to go to the robe, go to yeah. the, the store again well, in a robe. You should every now and then just to make sure you don't uh, worry about what people think. Well, that's you're right. It's it's that going to back to like not being comfortable. Yeah. Like I should make it not comfortable. Yeah. I just that's, have to wear something under the robe. That's what the Stoics used to do in ancient Greece or <laughs> yeah. Rome or whatever. They would dress I all think we funny. About that. They they yeah. dress all weird intentionally so that they would feel uncomfortable so they could get used to and not feel uncomfortable that they were dressed weird. That's awesome. Yep. And you know, that's but why I wear building... shorts and flip flops to the office so that I could not feel uncomfortable. <laughs> but I think that's, I think it's all legacy. I think most people involved, at least the agents that we talk to and, and are around our inner circle and everything, they're all, they, I've noticed that they all want to build legacy. They're not in yeah. it to just collect some sort of paycheck right. and complain about, you know, 
rates change in and commission structures change in. They're just yeah. all about, hey, how do we build a legacy? What, what do we do to create something that's really meaningful for, for me, for my teams, for my family and everything? How do we sure. create that legacy? Yeah. And this is part of it too, right? The podcast is part of it. We're laying down our thoughts, laying down what we're doing and, and how we how we have changed our journey over this time. Um, sure. And uh, I mean, as long as the interwebs is here, this thing is going to be here. I our think great, so. Great, 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 grandchildren <laughs> are going to listen to this. Whether you like it or not. Yep. <laughs> So if you're one of our great, 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 great grandkids, friends, play this at school. Embarrass them. Hi, Sam. Hey. <laughs> hey, Frank. Hey, Tibby. Sarah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, if you are listening to this, make sure that you uh, subscribe. So whip that phone out. Whip it out and press uh -huh. subscribe. Smash it. Yeah. Smash that subscribe button, but only once. Because if you hit it twice, it'll unsubscribe. They don't want that. Why don't you uh, send us send Craig a message right now? I'm going to give you a cell phone number, and you can send him a message oh. with your favorite soap, um, favorite soap. smell, scent, smell. your favorite soap scent. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know what? Let, how about? How about this? Because I think he'll be a little upset if I gave his cell phone out. Um, what about just I don't let us it. know on the Facebooks uh, group? We love the Facebooks group. Um, yeah. Let us know what your favorite soap scent is because Mr. Craig's is lavender, but he's also got to throw vanilla in there because the combo for him is, yep. is the cat's meow. It is the bee's knees. And that's a coffee tone. 